and it's time for sports and the man in charge of sports <coughs> is here, George Addy Jr. Well, you make it sound like I'm the sports minister, but it's not bad. Yes, you are, um, aren't you? I, I don't envy um, Honorable Isaac Isiyama <laughs> because our sports um, <laughs> industry is full of so many problems that, you know? honestly, he can solve. And honestly, not many people he can can't solve. solve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Government does not think sports is necessary. I mean, does not see sports as a development tool. Mm. I'm being very harsh this morning, but that's the truth, because mm. if it's realized that it was a tool, we will see government putting up a lot more stadia. We'll see government very active in uh, pushing the other sports. All of that is not possible. We don't have infrastructure. Our clubs are left on their own, and we are where it is. So we can complain about the Ghana Football Association and all the others, but the key thing is government has not shown they're interested. You sound they like you're diving, into, you're diving into the first story. No, not really. Just, uh, Just a rant. The way you you came as <laughs> <laughs> They, they, they make us feel like they love the Black Stars, <laughs> but they're using the Black Stars as a political tool, and that's true. Mm. So we know there's no World Cup, and you can see now the coach is not being paid and all of those issues. So that's, that's government stance really on sports and why I would not want to be the sports minister. But we have a lovely weekend to look forward to, and then those we like to learn from the English Premier League, they have um, shown the way. We've been going there to want to learn from them, but until we do the right things, we can be like them. Mm -hmm. So we are looking forward to the Manchester United-Manchester City game down here in Accra, so far away from the English Premier League. But there's nothing really here to cling on to. So you must look forward to the Manchester United Man City game, which has no Ghanaian even in that going to be lined up. Amazing stuff. But that's the game of the weekend, the game that could likely decide who wins the English Premier League. The other games to look forward to, I bet um, Liverpool playing Everton is another one. That's the Messi side derby. Will take place on Sunday. Chelsea will play West Ham, and that's a way. That's a, a little landing derby of its sort, taking place um, at 11. That's going to be the first game uh, on Saturday. We have Tottenham Hotspur up against Stoke City. Uh, Man, what we have? Liverpool, Newcastle up against Leicester. Swansea, West Brom. We can quickly look at the Spanish Liga fixtures that's available as well, and uh, it's a tough game. I, I need. I, I had to ask you about the Messi side derby. Mm. I think you win that game, though. Um, you Liverpool win. Everton? Yeah, I think of you win that game. Win uh, don't say of course, but you win the game. <laughs> 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 All right, in Spain, uh, there's a big one. We've got Real Madrid up against Sevilla. And Cristiano Ronaldo, after being crowned the Ballon d'Or winner, he's won that mm -hmm. for the fifth time. And you can go on with your argument about who is the better player, Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. It's five on five now. <laughs> and that argument would, cease, would not cease. Mm. I say, let's love these players the way we will. Let's mm. enjoy watching the two of them. They've created something special for us. The Duopoli has been on for 10 years and counting. You know? It's either Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. I don't know if we're going to have this again. But Ronaldo has... Proving or he's, um, or he's proved his critics very wrong, hasn't yeah, he? Ha he has, yeah, he has. In, I mean, in working so hard and matching up to Lionel Messi. I respect, I, I, I will say that I'm a diehard Messi fan, but I respect what's, what he's been able to do yeah, since yeah. Messi won four on a shot. That's the game in Cardiff. Um, I watch uh, mm -hmm. Madrid play Juventus and um, he's all about hard work. Even at 32, he's still going hard. Congratulations to Cristiano Ronaldo. Anyway, you look at it, it's five on five. And you look at the number of times uh, Messi has also come second. It's five. <laughs> <laughs> so when Ronaldo wanted to hit the record, he also wanted to hit the record of um, you know, coming second, coming five, second five, five times. Amazing stuff. So we'll see Real Madrid up against Sevilla. Right. Then there's Barcelona there up against Villarreal in the games to look forward to. Big one as well, the Italian Serie A, when we see what Juventus uh, mm. will be doing there against their, it, it, I should say the research on Inter Milan. Yeah. They're doing very well, and you have to try and catch the uh, Serie A games, mm. which are going so nicely. That's your sport. Wonderful weekend to look forward to. Definitely a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much, George Addo Jr., for bringing us the latest there. And this is where we end today's blessing of news desk. I am Daniel Dazzi. See you at midday.